Welcome to another episode of Strikers Den and today we are discussing UFC fight night in Abu Dhabi on this weekend and I'm going to discuss only two fights because normally I like to discuss the fighters before I actually do the podcast I first read their styles I watch their fights looking at their fighting style their mistakes their strengths and then I guess that who might win the fight so in this particular video I will discuss Shara the Bullet versus Michel and the main event which is uh, Cody Sanhagen and plus Umar Nomagamadov. So the question is can Shara Bullet beat Michel and the main question is whether can Umar take Cody's second place and go towards title fight or Cody stops Umar and then he maintain his second place and go towards title shot so that is the question that we need to answer let's go through first uh, the co-main event shara and michelle that who's going to win that fight so the styles makes the fight if you look at michelle's fighting style you will see he's very close slightly low he push forward all the time he is southpaw which means left-handed he moves forward he look for the big shots he waits and he look for the big shots and then he try to use his left hand big left hand but he is flat footed and slow on his feet uh, but i've also uh, have seen that if you push him back in the speed he shells up as well so sooner a fighter shells up which means it gives the other fighter uh, opportunity to take him the clinch elbow knees whatever take him down so it is a big no no when it comes to fighting you don't want to shell up you create the space you go out you come back again you don't want to really stand over there because you give opportunity to other guys to strike plus what i've seen that he doesn't like the clinch and we know the shara the bullet basically his background is from kickboxing and muay thai so if uh, you're fighting a pure striker who's good at, good with the elbows and striking and knees and clinch shelling up and not being comfortable in the clinch is a big no-no for me again shara on other hand he's very skillful when it comes to the striking when he joined ufc i thought that he'll be more dominant just like alex but he's shown sometime like when he goes towards the end of the the fight like round three he's slowing down he's uh, very creative have he has a lot of weapons he can use he got speed he got uh, feet movement and also this time shara is slightly taller than michelle so for me i think shara if i predict this fight i think shara stops him later in maybe second or third round i don't see this fight even if he goes to the three rounds i think shara wins the fight and i don't think that michelle is going to give him any trouble on striking the only chance he might have basically push the fight to later rounds like second and third round and take him down and you keep him there and win the fight that way so okay let's go towards the main event whether umar can take cory's place number two place and fight for the title or, or cory will keep his place and he will fight for the title so if you look at their styles cory is very well-rounded fighter he's a pressure fighter he's a volume fighter he constantly come forward he measures you then he throw his shots he work on percentage so every shot is no power shot so he takes his time he touches you touches you he can change the guard as well he moves forward he moves backward but he constantly pressure he will use percentage of striking and then when he see the opportunity and he'll go for the power he can wrestle as well but his main strength is his striking now the question we need to ask him the way he pressure the fights whether he can pressure the same way that also comes to the point that how umar will respond to his pressure because if you give um confidence to cory then which means that he will pressure even he will pressure even more and he'll speed of course will go up but that works against those guys who are slow on their feet and then the people who doesn't like the volume it works against those guys but on other hand if you look at umar he is very agile he is really good at uh, with uh, maintaining the distance he changes the guard just like Corey as well the both guys changes the guard southpaw or uh, orthodox left to right they can change the guard they can go up and down but umar has better speed he has better kicks he has better low kicks but on other hand 
Corey has really good counter as well. But at the same time, if you look at Corey versus Peter Yan, he was struggling his, uh, against his speed. And he also struggled after third round when Peter Yan took him down and basically uh, caught him once um, and then dropped him and took him down. And that after the, the third round, he seems a bit tired and he was not as smooth as he was in first three rounds. Now, how I think this fight going to play? I, I think either Corey will be hesitant to go forward and push you back. But if he does that, Umar will change the level and he will take him down. And that's where I think Umar is better in wrestling as compared to Cody. But to me, it looked like mostly he will come with his wrestling game. And then, of course, he's complement with his uh, striking. So if I predict this twice, I think uh, Cody will try to pressure him. And Umar is going to be moving around. And then, of course, when he get into that striking range, he throws something. Or Umar will initiate with something, jab or cross, and then level change and take him down. I think this is how this fight is going to go and if Umar takes him down early in rounds and make him tired, I think this fight then then I think this fight favors to Umar. So I don't see this fight finishing in a knockout because Corey is the guy who doesn't really go with the power shots as well and Umar is kind of similar as well. So for me I think it goes to all you know full fight I fight so I think it go all the way and Umar win by decision so again so again these are my picks for last two fights I think Shara wins the fight by maybe a stoppage and Umar wins the fight with unanimous decision these are my picks for this Saturday thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you again thank you bye